Just like every job, farming has its ups and downs, things you like and things you don't like. At least when you head out in the morning to feed, it seems like the animals are excited to see you. They may, you may think they're super friendly, but we all really know they just want the food. And you know they're satisfied once you get them to stop squealing, which isn't hard. Just put the food out for them. Doesn't take too much to make the pigs happy. Just some fresh feed, enough of it. And some fresh water. We try to clean out water bowls every day and give them fresh water each day. Chickens aren't too picky either. Fortunately for us, we have automatic feeders, so we don't need to feed them every single day. Once these feeders are full, they'll usually last us a good four to five days, up to a week sometimes. In the summertime, there's a lot more things to forage, so the feed lasts longer. We've got most of our pens set up so feed time is not that difficult. Most pens are close to a water spigot so that makes filling waters much easier. We have just under 60 pigs on our farm. Although we do raise cooney cooney pigs, they don't go as, through as much feed as regular commercial hogs. As many times as we've tried to keep pigs at their own bowls, it is a waste of time to even try. Pigs are like a lot of people. They think the grass is greener on the other side or the feed in a different bowl is much better than the bowl that we were just at. Although, if they'd stay at one bowl, They'd be just fine like Penny there. She normally stays at one bowl. But needless to say, we don't even try anymore. They run back and forth from bowl to bowl thinking that another bowl is holding something better than the one that they're at. crazy how fast the seasons change. You get caught up in the day-to-day -day activities. One day you go out, leaves are all on the ground, the temperature has changed, but no matter the time, the weather, the pigs still want to eat. Now that the meat chickens are all gone, chores normally take us about 30 to 35 minutes, two times a day, morning and evening. They're the same exact thing, except for in the evenings, we collect eggs. One more scoop and feeding is done. Until tonight, of course.
All right, guys, now that our 367th time of feeding this year is finished, um, we need to go and make sure that the animals are all warm and cozy. Um, I do not enjoy cold weather, and I know that our cold is relative to other parts of the country, but for here and for me, um, it is not very pleasant right now. I mean, when you have days that are in the mid-70s and then the next day you hit 40 to 50, it's uh, quite a change. I know it doesn't bother bother this guy at all, but uh, for me, I don't like it. And I just want to make sure that the animals are comfortable. And for bedding, we use hay. Um, some people ask why we don't use straw. Um, two reasons. We have a good access to hay and also the hay is dual purpose. They use it for bedding and they'll also eat some of it. Um, we never just use hay for feed. We always supplement with feed because they need some minerals and things that come with the feed. Um, but it is dual purpose, keeps them warm and they'll also munch on it. So I've got my partner here. You ready to go? Whenever we head out, he's always ready to come with us. We're gonna grab some hay, head around. Um, we're gonna start in the little red barns right there. And this one over here because they have nothing when it's hot out they rarely sleep inside and when they do i feel like they'd rather be on the cool dirt anyway so they have none and that's the reason why because it's not been cold so we're going to start there and fill up those barns and get them a comfortable warm place to sleep we are going down into the 30s here coming up in the evening so that is cold i don't care who or where you are All right, first pen that we're at is Ryder, Delilah, Dandelion, and Leonard. And uh, as you can see, as we come in here, they have no hay in their spot. But this is the barn, if you guys remember, when it was raining and nasty, it was kind of low and we've raised it up. Well, you can see it is quite dry, except for this last stall, which we didn't do anything with. Looks like the rain was blowing in here, which even if we built it up, it'd be wet right in front of the door. But I am very happy that these barns are usable now in the winter when it rains and they're not going to get soaking wet. So let's get them some hay in there. My goodness, bud. You excited about something? Leonard, how you doing, bud? You're starting to get big. There's the dandelion. Delilah, we know Delilah for sure is pregnant. She'll be moving up to the farrowing barn here shortly, which is always exciting. Some more piglets, so let's get this hay put up. Well, you can already see they are enjoying this. Um, like I said, they're gonna eat some of it and they are gonna bed down in some of it. And uh, that will be enough for this pen. Um, we're getting ready to move pigs again. Obviously we're not moving them as often this time of year just because nothing's really growing. So we'll rake pens out before we move. And that way we don't ruin all the pens, but they will be moving over here shortly. And uh, we can just take this hay and scoop it over if there's still good hay in here. But uh, you can see they do enjoy it. And uh, they'll have a nice place to bed down. It's one reason we don't keep pigs by themselves as well because they'll bed down together and they're able to keep warm. Like I said, it's not super cold out, but we want our animals to be comfortable. So. Let's move on to the next one. We're using the small tractor because I still don't have the big tractor fix. Got to get to replace some seals on it. So we're going to be making a couple extra trips since we don't have the ability to carry as much. Are you going to get your ball? Huh? You going to get your ball? 
Huh? What? <laughs> sit. Cal, sit. There you go. Go get it. We've got Tuck and Molly in here and I uh, have not noticed any breeding yet. If you guys remember, we moved Molly up from the back and we moved Joyce to the back just to give them a different board to see if that was gonna make a difference. But same thing in here. We're just gonna add a little hay. They've got a nice little spot where it's kept them nice and cool when we needed it cool, but now we need it warm. So let's grab them some hay, help them bed down in there. Molly, don't knock my camera over. Well, he knocked it over. I figured she would. Watch out, Molly. You guys okay? All right, they've got hay in there. We can spread it around, they can spread it around. Really doesn't matter too much, but we'll get a little bit of a spread going for them. Hey Tuck, what do you think about that? You gonna knock my camera over now? Probably, or are you just showing off your teeth? Okay. All right, there we go. Always wanna have pairs of pigs don't want anybody by themselves and uh they are going to enjoy this so two pens down let's check one of the pig loos i think most of them are good since we're here we'll check the piglets pig loo there's plenty of piglets in there to keep warm for sure seeing if you guys are dirty you look dirty let's see if that helps any all right, piggies, you already had breakfast. We couldn't even hardly get in to feed you. But let's check their housing. They're getting ready to move again as well. And they are looking good. They've got plenty of hay in there. Oh, everybody's tripping me. How you doing, pigs? How you doing? You act like you haven't eaten just five, 10 minutes ago. Trying to get you on film, but you're all at my feet. Can't do that. Let's run. There we go. All righty. Piglets are fine. Pigs in these barns are good. Let's go check a couple of these houses. Are you getting interested in her, Tuck? Huh? Are you just like the hay that's sitting on her butt? We're hoping you're gonna get somebody bred. <laughs> so let's go check a house back here see if we need to add anything all right here is the pigs in the back there's joyce who we traded with molly thistle looking so pretty phil you can see they're kind of out of some hay so we're going to add some fresh hay in there really quick but uh pigs are doing well like i said when they've got a buddy it's not so bad Looks like we're going to have a pig party in here. Phil enjoying some hay already. <laughs> you look like Cal with your ball, Phil. All right. Somebody tooted. I got to get out of here. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, they are all set. Hey, Joyce. How you doing? Hey, Leonard. So they are good to go. Like I said, it's not that cold out right now, but that's what we do with our animals in the cold weather. Make sure they have a dry place to go to get out of wind or rain. Make sure they have some bedding and make sure they are not by themselves. So that's it with the pigs. 
Obviously we don't have to worry about water freezing, but that's the reason we use the pans. So when it does freeze, we can just turn them over and knock out that ice. And with the chickens, and you can see there's another thing I gotta do. All these shade cloths need to come down. We had a lot of wind and rain and uh, I don't feel like we need the shade cloths anymore. But with the chickens, you can see on this other coop over here with the older flock, we've got plastic on the front and all the sides so we can close up those doors when it, at night when it's cold and then the wind doesn't get in on them. They basically need the same accommodations and be able to get out of the wind and the rain. I'm gonna put the front and sides on these coops here so they can get out of the wind and rain. And also we're gonna be doing something different with the chickens this year. And we will talk about that in an upcoming video. But I've had questions. Do the chickens stay in these chick shaws all winter? Ever since we've had them, they have stayed in chick shaws. But we are going to do something different this year. So obviously we don't get as cold as many places. So that's one reason we can do that. But anyway, guys, season's changing. Chores are changing a little bit. We've got more chores, chores, chores always more chores but that is okay so anyway guys hope you're having a great weekend don't forget to make the change and we'll see you on the next video